Um, guys? What the heck is that? Oh, God, I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. Oh, jeez, dude. So I just started randomly lighting up this lake here. I'm, I'm, te I'm telling the God's honest truth here, guys. I just started to light up this lake here because I was getting tired of not being able to see where I was going. And what do I find? A real enchanted sword shrine. What was I saying about not rushing progression in this series again, Terraria? Holy God. I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Guys, can you imagine if I got the Arcalis from it? <gasps> no. Oh my god. If I got the Akalis from that, I think I would actually cry. Because I have legitimately, in the entire time I have played this game, ladies and gentlemen, I have never had the Akalis. I'm pretty sure it's a 1 in 20 drop from the Enchanted Sword Shrines. Uh, we're going to head to it from the side here. Uh, reason being, well, it should be pretty obvious because I don't want to flood it. All right, I don't want to flood it. We're going to go at it from the side and everything's going to be looking good. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. Where today we're starting off with the Enchanted Sword Shrine. I can't believe this. I honestly can't believe this. And I'll tell you something else I can't believe is the amount of support that you guys showed on the first episode. I can't put into words how grateful and appreciative I am of every single one of you guys who watched the last episode, who left a like rating on it. It means more to me than you guys could possibly know. It really, really does. So, guys, thank you so much for your support. If we can keep that kind of support up, that would be absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. So, talking of fan-freaking-tastic... I, I genuinely can't believe this, guys. I genuinely can't believe it. Oh, my word. Just, oh, my word. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. It's just an enchanted sword. But we've just gone up. Oh, my word. We've just gone up our sword damage from 9 to 24. And not just that. It's fully automatic. Like, what else do I need to say, guys? What else do I need to say other than holy crap? Oh, hello. Talking of holy crap, what are you doing here? Hey, check it out. I can make a, I can get a bug net now. I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, what else could I get? A sickle? If I, oh, that could be a cool idea, actually. If I buy myself a sickle, I can grab hay from grass, right? If I grab hay from grass, then we could potentially use thatch as a bit of a roofing material for our little beach huts, right? That could be a really cool idea. Okay, so we're looking good on that front. Now, I'll tell you what we're not looking so good on is exploring this cave. If I was to explore this cave further down, uh, there is a very real possibility that we would be too close to the dungeon to the point where the dungeon guardian would just come down and wreck my face, which, to be quite frank with you guys, I don't think I'm wanting to do that. So, I'm thinking we head back. I mean, do we want to head all the way back? Nah, no, nah, I don't think so. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Insta-kill. Just got absolutely destroyed there, sir. But yeah, guys, what I want to do is I noticed on the mini-map here, there's actually some cobweb down here. So if I go back to the Crimson Biome a little bit, we should be able to grab that cobweb and hopefully grab some other stuffs, which will enable us to be able to make ourselves a bed, set our spawn point, and then therefore everything will be fan freak fantastic. And... Because we have the enchanted sword, we're going to be able to survive in the freaking crimson biome about 550,000 times better. It's going to be insanely epic, guys. I'm, I'm, I, like I say, I'm completely flabbergasted. I'm gobsmacked that this has happened. I really am. Not only do we have a water bolt, but we also have ourselves a freaking enchanted sword. I mean, come on. What are the chances of getting both? Seriously. It's absolutely nuts to me that that would even be a thing that happens. I can't, I just can't put into words. I really, really can't. Anyways, we're going to head down to the caves down here. Hey, buddy, guess what? Oh, that's cute. You thought you could take me down. Get enchanted sword, uh, sworded. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so good at coming up with, uh, insults and... Being big-headed against the mobs. No, I'm not. I'm really stupid, actually. Anyways, uh, let's head down here. Oh, ooh, even more cobwebs. There's a lot of cobwebs around, guys. This is pretty cool. The bad news is... There's a bunch of crimstone. The good news is... There's even more cobweb over there. Okay. So, we might not be worse off after all. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. Uh, I'm going to place down some of the ropes... 
Yes, some ropes. We're going to try and head our way down here. Oh, gosh. Who goes? Someone wants to go. Right, can I even get to this cave? I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to this cave because if I can't... Oh, no. I don't think we can, guys. Oh, no, there's crimstone there. I don't have enough to make a grappling hook either. Oh, no. I wish I had bombs. If I had bombs, I'd be able to make my way through that. Wait, do I have dynamite? No, I don't. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, I think I'll be able to get down to that one. That looks mostly like dirt. Oh, that still kind of sucks though, guys. Gosh darn it. I thought I'd be able to get that. Well, here's hoping in which case we have enough. Ugh. Hello. Here's hoping we have enough resources, enough bits of cobweb down this one to be able to make ourselves a bed. Because if not, then yeah, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, because yeah, we won't be able to spawn back at our beach house, which would kind of suck. So yeah. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the good news is we can indeed get to this cobweb down here. Brilliant. Okay. The real question at this point, in which case, is how much is there? And more to the point, is it going to be enough? Uh, yeah, from an immediate glance, I'm going to say no, it's not. Yeah, we've got 23. We need 35, guys. We need 35. However, with that said, I wonder if we could access that other cobweb cave now. Uh, if I come down here, there's the blood crawlers. Oh my goodness me, they just got absolutely bamboozled. Hey, there's some lead there as well. We need the lead so we can make ourselves some chains and therefore make a sawmill. Although I'm pretty sure we're going to need more lead than this, sadly. Uh, yeah, we are. We're definitely going to need some more. Uh, because we need some bars as well as the chains, of course, to be able to get this stuff going. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get through here. And at the very least, we now have enough cobwebs to make ourselves a bed, which is cool. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right. Is there any lead, though? I would love for there to be some lead, guys. Hmm. <laughs> there's a chest statue down there. Eh. It doesn't look like there's too much going on down there. I could be wrong, but I don't think there's much going on. Okay. Right. Well, I guess I guess all we've got to do in which case is just have a bit of a roam around. Maybe we can find some lead somewhere. I mean, come on. It's lead. It shouldn't be that difficult to find, right? I mean, it's not like it's freaking diamonds in Minecraft. Jeez, dude. It shouldn't take that long. Right, let's go on a little bit of a quest for lead. And we'll see what we can find. Oh, no, maybe not. We don't need to go on a quest for lead. There's no need for a jump cut, guys. <laughs> I said in the last episode, I don't want to be cutting too much out of this series. I want you guys to experience the series with me. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. The joys of exploring and finding the stuff you need very, very quickly. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Well, the more stuff I get here, the better things are going to be, right? Oh, hello. He got through. You son of a gun. You're not doing that to me again, sir. No siree. There we go. All right, looking good. Right. I'm pretty sure we have all of the stuff we need to make ourselves a bed. All right. All right. And for those of you guys who don't know how to make a bed, then you will learn from this episode. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could turn this into a bit of a walkthrough series. Like, for those of you guys who are playing Terraria for the very first time, uh, maybe just... Maybe you guys might learn something from these videos and me not cutting out that much. I don't know. I don't know. In fact, I'll tell you what. Hmm. I mean, in the last episode, I asked you guys, when did you start playing Terraria? Maybe, I don't know. What could I ask in this episode? Hmm. Not entirely sure yet. To be honest with you guys, like I say, I'm recording this episode straight after the last one. So, at this particular point in the episode, I haven't seen the responses or the comment question or the video suggestions for this episode just yet. So, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get back to base. We're going to get the bed made. And then we are going to do a jump cut there so I can then wait. For your guys' uh, responses and suggestions for comment questions of the video uh, from the first episode, right? I think that sounds like a cool idea. Like I say, I'm not going to be cutting out too much gameplay-wise. But, uh, you know, if I need to, you know, do something for the sake of time, then, yeah, I guess that's something we'll have to just sort of do as we go along. So, yeah, you guys get what I'm saying, hopefully. So, 43 cobweb is the amount we have. Uh, if I was to come in here... Oh, wait, do we have ourselves... We don't have enough stone? You've got to be kidding me, man. Oh, I don't have a stone. Okay, well, the good news is there's stone here. If we get ourselves five bits, we've got enough for... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Butterfly! 
15% bait power. Hey, man. All bait is good bait, right? Yeah, fantastic. All right, what's this? Zebra, swallowtail, butterfly in a jar. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Should we have that? <laughs> Do I just chuck it there? <laughs> yeah, why not, man? Why the heck not? All right, we've got ourselves a butterfly in a jar. We have ourselves our first ever pet of the series, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I guess that's fairly interesting. Right, we'll grab that. Can I make myself a sawmill? Should be able to. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll chuck it on here for now. We now need a loom. There we go. We now need some silk. There we go. And finally, of course, the good old-fashioned bed. So let's get you placed in there. And ladies and gentlemen, spawn point has been set. So there we go, my friends. Everything's looking good. I can now exit the world and come back into my heart's content uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I may have to every now and again. So, yeah. Well, I guess in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and organize my inventory here. I'm going to do the jump cut I was mentioning earlier, and I'll meet you guys back in a mo, I guess. Alrighty, folks. So, welcome back. So, I have had a chance to look through the comments and the questions and all of the various other things from the first episode. I might I just say... A huge massive thank you again for the support in the first episode. Really do appreciate it, my friends. It means to me more than you know that you guys are continuing to support me on this channel, even after all of these years. So thank you so, so much. But the question I have picked out for today comes from Dark Brawls, who says, What is your favorite potion in Terraria? My favorite potion. That is actually a really, really difficult one. Do you want to know why it's really difficult? It's because it's between quite a lot of them. There's a lot of potions in Terraria that I really, really like. For example, the Endurance Potion. Big, big fan of the Endurance Potion for pretty obvious reasons, I would imagine. Uh, it makes you take less damage. You've got the Iron Skin Potion as well. Oh, I've just realized I've dug out the wrong sand blocks here. Like a doofus. Uh, Iron Skin Potion, more defense. I mean, why would you not want more defense? Wrath Potion, more damage. Ooh! But in all honesty, I think my answer would have to be the Life Force Potion. I am a big, big fan of the Life Force Potion and the fact that it basically just gives you more life. It just, it's so good. It really, really is. Like, there is no reason why you would not like the Life Force Potion. And especially the fact that it gives you more life. I mean, come on, man. 20% more life. So if you've got 500 life, it will take you up to 600 life, which is like... Really, quite a lot, actually, especially in vanilla Terraria. On Calamity, it's not considered a lot, but yeah, on here it is. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. But anyways, guys, the thing that I wanted to ask you guys, and I thought of it just now, is I mentioned on the first episode how I'd really like to go ahead and start doing mega builds in Terraria, right? So what I'd like you guys to do in the comments area below is answer this for me. What kind of biome would you like me to set up my first ever mega base in? Now, obviously, we're not going to start our mega base for a fair while because, you know, we're going to be wanting to grab ourselves a bunch of resources and a bunch of other various bits and bobs that we're probably going to need. But uh, you get what I'm saying? Like, I I'd very much like to be able to start getting some inspiration for said mega project. Uh, you know, fairly early on. The earlier I get it, the, the better I feel like I'm going to be. So, yeah, I'm interested to know. Where do you think I should set up a mega base? Be very interested in knowing. Okay, so in the meantime, what I'm trying to do is do a little bit of terraforming. The reason why I want to do that is because I want to try and plant down some palm trees. Now, sadly, this is actually a very, very small ocean biome. I mean, I could technically speaking go ahead and start filling up the ocean just a bit. I mean, not like totally, but maybe a bit to give us a bit more building room. But I don't know, man. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Some you got to take the good with the bad, right? That's just that's just what you got to do. So, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do in the meantime. I'm going to go ahead and start getting rid of some of this here wood. The more space I give towards these uh, palm trees growing, the better things are going to be. Because what I'd really like to do, and I don't imagine we're going to get it done in today's episode, but what I'd like to do is replace this regular wood with palm wood. Oh my god, that grew instantly. Holy moly. Yeah, I'd like to replace this wood with palm wood and then put hay so we can have a bit of a thatch roof, right? I think a thatch roof would be amazing. I really do think that. I think that'd be fantastic. 
Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and make a bit of a start, I guess. I mean, we can make a bit of a start, but like I say, we probably won't get it finished. Oh boy, I really cannot wait for 1.3.6. One of the features that was spoiled for 1.3.6 was the block swap feature, which basically is exactly what you think it is. Say, for example, you've got some regular wood down here. I've got myself a different kind of wood here. In 1.3.6, you're going to be able to just go ahead and replace the block directly. You won't have to dig it out. You won't have to worry about your furniture popping off or your NPC house no longer being classed as an NPC house. You'd just be able to replace the block just completely and utterly, like, just so easily. It would be fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to that feature. Honestly... If there was a feature in 1.3.6 that I'm very much looking forward to, it's the block swap feature. In my opinion, it is an absolute game changer. I genuinely believe that. I really, really do. So, uh, there we go. I mean, he's still on the same level, which I guess is okay. We can get the table and the chairs and whatnot all placed back down. There we go. Wait, what is he talking about? got a whole bunch of emotes going on and he's talking about something i didn't i wasn't really paying attention to what though uh, three four uh, five and there's a door missing there now we have to go ahead and uh, replace that before this now doesn't become an npc house hmm i'm kind of tempted to put this house on top of this one and then put the roof on top of that Oh, I don't know. I, I feel like by doing that, I'd kind of be, like, skimping on you guys, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, my gosh. Look at how many guys are in this pit. That's hilarious. Hello. Get wrecked, you freaking butt. Right, uh, should we try and get the merchant to move up here? I feel like that would be a very much... I feel like that'd be a good use of our time. Uh, so, uh, let's begin by doing a little bit of this. And we're going to move some of this stuff. Uh, we'll move this. We'll move this. We'll make a bit of a platform here. So we can get out, of course. And then away we go from there, right? So let's get down here. Uh, so we are looking for a chair and the table. All right, booth and a booth. And uh, let's get you placed in there. And if we grab some walls, we can... Uh, the Wait, you can get hay walls? Oh. <gasps> Yo! Oh, I wonder if these two could work together. Ooh! You see, this is one aspect of the series which I was mentioning I really wanted to try out. Is, uh, you know, different building styles. Yo! That is a cool looking wall. Okay, and what if I put this in here? That does not look bad. That doesn't look bad. Hey, I wonder if I go ahead. Hang on. Uh, if I grab just a few bits of sand. Oh, gosh. I'm going to need to be careful, actually, because I don't have a lot of sand that I can actually dig up and it not, like, affect the terrain majorly so. Um, <laughs> yeah, this might be a bit of a heartache, actually. Is there, like, any other easily accessible sand? Um, I mean, I guess the Crimson Desert over here, but to be quite frank, I don't really want to go for it. So, I think I'm going to make this pit even more into a pit. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. We're making a huge mosh pit here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're doing. Oh, gosh. Oh, I really wish we had the Architect NPC from the Calamity mod. Oh, wait, no. It's Alchemist NPC mod? Is it that one? I can't remember. But anyways, uh, we're not doing a modded playthrough. We're doing vanilla. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. So, what if we go ahead and start putting in some windows here? Like, we could start making these really boring box-style houses look a little bit more interesting, right? So, okay, let's take it one further. Maybe we start sort of curving some of these things off. Uh, let's put you in the bin. And if I was to go ahead and place down another wood block there, let's curve it off a little bit, okay. Uh, let's head up to the roof here. We're just going to start placing down some of the stuffs uh, that I don't really want to have on me right now. Uh, where's the loom? Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, we'll place the chest back down. And the table, of course. Let's get you all placed in. Let's get the chest placed in. Do we have enough resources for a tiki torch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Is this now a house? Yes, it is. Okay, so the merchant can now move in. Hey, fantastic stuff. Let's just deposit all of that stuff. Uh, and yeah. Guys, look at that, though. We've made a really boring box-style house look just a little bit more interesting, right? It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. I'm very much a fan of that. I really, really am. 
Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, I think what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to end this particular episode here, ladies and gentlemen. I know it kind of feels like we've ended it on a bit of a, oh, hey, we haven't actually finished our house yet. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around off camera. We're going to see if we can't get these things to grow. And yeah, I'm hoping we'll be able to get this house sort of transformed in the next episode. I think it will be absolutely fantastic. The demolitionist has arrived. Oh my goodness me. Well, we know what we're doing in the next episode, my friends. We're going to go on a bit of a boom, boom, bomb spree. Oh, yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. It would really help out myself, the channel, and the video. It would mean the world to me if you did, guys. Honestly, it would. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate your continued support. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.